All right, day number 19. Um, March 3rd. It's Friday, about 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And I wanted to record this because I don't really know what I want to say. But I want to try to vo give voice to what I'm feeling. Um, so today started, I was I spent the night at my girlfriend's house, which is always, always special. I uh, helped her shovel out about 30 centimeters of snow last night so i helped her shovel out her driveway um yeah i love spending time with her uh it gives me it gives me glimpses into the kind of future that i want um which brings me to now uh, anyway i'll get i'll get to that i just want to like review my day first so i can kind of give voice to what i'm feeling um so yeah, this morning was great. Uh, helped her shovel out, and then we we got on with her day. She she had to pick up her little guy, and I I went into work to help uh, with a uh, with the project that was closing. Uh, I didn't have to. I could have worked from home easily, but I wanted to go in and just own the own the feeling that I have with uh, the new job offer, um, which is a hell of an offer. It uh, I don't know if I talked about it so much, but. Uh, this new job offer represents about a 25% pay increase from where I'm at now. So, I got a Steve. Oh, bless me. Ooh. Oh, see my shoveling job there? That was a lot of fucking snow. Like 30 centimeters. Did I say that already? I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, I went into work to own the feeling of of change. Like, I'm, I love where I'm at now. The people are great. The environment is great. I'm very comfortable with where I'm at, but I think uh, I think I've gotten I've plateaued a bit with my my the challenge that it offers. I'm very confident and comfortable in it, and I've been there for about four years now. So, um, yeah, uh, I think it was yesterday I went to my manager and 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 brought up the fact that I had this job offer and what it was. Um. And today I was a little disappointed with what their counter offer was. They they were willing to give me five percent, which if you're paying attention to like the the economic situation, that that bear I don't even think that covers inflation for the year. So like rather than work at a discount, um, I'm willing to challenge myself with the facing the fear of change because uh, back in my Navy days, back when I was back when I was in within the darkness that I'm overcoming, uh, there was a real fear of change, a real, real sense of anxiety surrounding, um, projecting my, myself into the future a bit. Uh, not, that's, that's the feeling that I hid from. I think, I think, and that's not uncommon. I don't think I'm special by any means, but I think I'm special in that I'm aware of, uh, the experiences and what what it offers um, and where it's brought me to especially but um, so today the, my manager brought up that they they weren't willing to go any higher than five percent and this new bonus program that would give me an extra one thousand dollars a year or whatever whatever that works out to but peanuts um, so I was, I was grateful like I was grateful for the opportunity and everything but I told them I would take the weekend to think about it and uh, basically it took me about uh, lunch hour uh, after lunch I was convinced that no I'm not even going to pretend um, so I, I submitted my two weeks notice um, yeah and it's it represents a big change uh, this new job is going to be an expanded role in that I'm, I'm more visible I'm more exposed to more exposed to the industry uh, and more people I'm, I'll be the face of a lot of projects um, and I I don't know if I mentioned it, but I was a estimator for a big general contractor, and now I'm going to be a, a project manager slash, um, uh, with a minor estimating role for a, a subcontractor. So uh, it'll be a, lot, a little more specialized, a little more lucrative for sure. Um, yeah, it's an exciting opportunity, but again, the I felt the fear of change. Um, Once, what am I trying to say here? Uh, so I submitted that my two weeks notice, and then I started to tell my peers that I, I what I what I've done. I don't want them to be caught surprised. 
I want them to hear it from me that I was um, pursuing this change and that I'd be leaving in two weeks. So uh, they're appreciative. I've I got a couple couple hugs and whatnot. Um, so after work, um, I'm hanging out with my, this is my weekend with my daughter. She's in there on her phone right now, but I'm just cooking supper for her as the oven heats up right now. But, uh, so yeah, after work, I picked her up from her grandmother's house, which is my ex's mother and the house fucking smelled like weed so bad um and it was like this how can i say it it was like these dark fingers that were trying to caress me a little bit um i love the smell of it like i said i have nothing against weed or smoking it or whatever but i could sense the darkness i could sense the um the the lure of hiding i could sense the lure of escape uh the illusion of escape i should say um and i i identified it i wasn't i wasn't triggered to smoke at all but i was it, it uh it reminded me it reminded me of all those times that i i would have allowed it into my well, I did allow it into my, my mind, but, um, yeah, it made me anxious. It made me feel very anxious. Um, so on the, on the drive home, like I, I just craved the security of, of being with my girlfriend again, because it's, it's super easy. It's super easy to, to chat with her, to just look at her and, uh, <laughs> to be around her and know that um everything will be okay and like not that everything will, won't be okay when i'm by myself or um but this is this is the feeling that i need to to live with i can't i can't um i can't give responsibility for uh getting over this uh I can't give responsibility for going through this dark valley away. I need to own it. I need to not not rely on external circumstances, which is exactly what an addiction is. So I'm aware of that. Uh, once I got home, I, I got Audrey settled, uh, Audrey being my daughter, and I, I shoveled the fuck out of this driveway. There was a lot of snow. It took me about an hour. Um, and I was listening to Eric Thomas and, and whatnot, but I, I sat with this. I sat with it for a bit. I sat with the f anxious feeling of starting a new job because uh, it's happening. Like it's it's absolutely happening. Um, I even touched base with the uh, the property managers of the apartment that I'm looking for. Uh, for that, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait till next week to kind of pursue that. Uh, so that's also happening. Um, and this new job would provide me an opportunity, a financial opportunity to kind of, uh, support, uh, my ex and her transition, um, without me physically being around. So I think that would be, that that's important. And what, what was the other thing? A job, apartment. Oh God, I'm drawing a blank. Oh, fucking 200 miler. Yeah. So fuck the 200 mile event coming up. Like that's going to, that. That's a driving force now in that it is going to, man, it's going to be powerful. Uh, by the time all these changes take place, like it's not that I'm, it's not that I doubt myself or my ability to do these things. It's that I think the anxiety comes from projecting myself into the future a bit too much. I need to focus on the, the now um living with myself here and now doing the best that i can in the moment um and owning owning the moment for uh for my own health so that i can project the positivity and the love that i i want and um 
yeah, uh, that's essentially what it is. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't doubt myself or my, the path that I'm on at all. I just kind of, I, I catch myself projecting into the future a bit too much. Is that a snowplow? It is a fucking snowplow. Let's see. Ah, that's nothing. I can handle that. Haha. <laughs> is that all you got? Um, but yeah, I'm, I, <sighs> bit of an emotional day for sure. Uh, saying, not saying goodbye, but kind of closing the chapters on a lot of phases of my life, smelling that weed and feeling the caress of the, the darkness that, uh, wow. It's like, yeah, no, that's exactly what it is. Um, I'm not even turning the page or starting a new chapter. Like I'm, I'm fucking writing a whole new book right now. <sighs> it's powerful. It's it's a it's a powerful moment. Um Writing a whole new... Oh, man. That got me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's not supposed to be easy. Uh, if this show was easy, I would have done it a long time ago. And I think that it it wouldn't be such a a problem. I think I don't think I'm unique in that I'm I'm kind of. I don't think it's a unique situation that I'm in with the anxiety and the the fear of change and all that. But I I hope it is unique in that I can add value to somebody's day or or life in that I get them thinking different things, uh, because this is essentially therapy for me. I don't. I know there's there's at least a couple people that watch these kind of all the way through, but I mean, even if even if nobody watched these videos at all, it's more or less me talking out loud in that I give power to the good thoughts. I give power to like I hope you notice that I, I kind of catch myself when I when I say something kind of negative. I'm like, no, that's not quite right, and that's exactly where my thoughts need to be catch myself to catch myself speaking out of love rather than fear and loving myself enough to be present in the moment and not fear the future that hasn't even happened yet so i think that's exactly where i need to be um oh my girlfriend's messaging me right now as if she knows that <laughs> uh fuck she's great um, <sighs> so yeah. Uh, so I think that's basically that basically covers today um, I forget what day it is day 19 I think it is so yeah I think I think I'm right where I need to be I, I'm right where I'm right where I'm supposed to be uh Man, oh man, it's glorious. It's a glorious feeling. This, it, like, if life isn't a struggle, then you're probably not growing. So, uh, not that it's a struggle by any means, but like to challenge yourself to keep on, keep on pushing, keep on pushing your limiting beliefs, keep pushing the fear back, making room for love. Um, and right now, this video is already 15 minutes, and I feel like I haven't said nearly enough. But I think, I think. I think it's a powerful video in itself, as, as they all are, of course, but uh, it's a progression, natural progression. 
Uh, tonight, I'm going to uh, eat supper with Audrey. I'm going to take her out sledding. I'm going to find a fucking spot to sled because we haven't been sledding yet this year. Um, and after that, I got bags to unpack and uh, bags to unpack, boxes to pack because shit's rolling. I'm making shit happen. I'm challenging my limiting beliefs, challenging the fear, challenging chains, challenging that fucking those demon fingers that were caressing my face and like it's like a, a siren song just calling to me it's like ah uh, yeah no i don't want to go back there at all i don't want to if i'm going to fall back i'm going to fall back on the faith that i have in myself uh the belief um the belief in the vision i have for my future i think i think that's worth fighting for uh i catch glimpses of it every now and then when i'm with my girlfriend uh and her dogs and uh, her little guy. I'm I'm looking forward to meeting him one day, but I'm not I'm not going to rush that. Uh, same with introducing Audrey to her. I, everything has a time and a place. I think there's a lot on my plate right now that I need to prove to myself that. Um, prove to myself that is that it's possible. Like I've never challenged myself to this extent. Um. But yeah, the fucking sky's the limit for this shit. Like, I'm ready. I'm willing. I'm able. Uh, like Eric Thomas says, man, I can, I will, I must. Uh, this is the fight for my life. Like, if I, if, like, what's the, what's the alternative right now? Like, I, there is no alternative. Like, I can't think of a fucking other way. Uh, it has to happen this way. I have to feel what I feel. Uh, cry, what I, cry whenever I feel like crying. Um, smile when I feel like smiling and man that's life I think that's that's a beautiful way to end this video day 19 oh fucking see you guys tomorrow It'll be Saturday man we're almost at three weeks I think I feel like I've grown exponentially the past uh, oh past two weeks in a bit and it might not seem like it but I'm fuck. I'm pretty excited I'm excited for the future I'm ready to roll um I'm excited to get my motorcycle back out on the road. You see my motorcycle there. Um, I was tempted to sell it. This yeah, I still might because you know living at an apartment. But uh, we'll see. I'm not. I'm not like. Oh, I gotta stop living in the future like that. So just ground myself. Live in the live in the moment. Um, I'm just looking at my watch. I don't know if you can see that, but like my calories burned today. Say three, three, three. So. I'll just, <laughs> Uh, I'll figure out what that means here in a minute, but, uh, yeah, just taking signs, taking the signs, appreciating life and appreciating the challenges. I love you all. I wish you clarity and peace. This video got fucking long again and it wasn't supposed to, but that's the way it is. All right. See you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Peace and love. Most of all, clarity, clarity, clarity. That's it. See you next time.